hello. Um, I went to my remote today, and as, well, as my luck is, batteries are flat. It's not a TV I use very often, so um, yeah, I don't. Every time I comes to it, batteries are flat, so uh, I'm getting fed up with it. <laughs> I don't always have triple A's available to me, you know, unless I nick some out of something else. So, decided to uh, make use of all the vape batteries I found in the street that I've collected over a number of months. Uh, make use of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these nifty little boards, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Those that aren't. They, uh, they charge 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries uh, at a current of 1 amp. Um, fantastic little boards, cheap. You can get about 20 for a... I oh, can't remember how much I paid, but it wasn't a lot. But they're fan fantastic little things. I've um, decided to sort of install this along with one of these, which I've already charged. Uh, this is a 3.7, 1.83 watt hours, I think it is. I can barely see it. My eyes ain't that great. 500 milliamp hour. That's amazing. For the size. Anyway, this is what I'm going to do. And if it works, I shall do it with most all my remotes. And uh, I mean, to be fair, it probably lasts the lifetime of the TV. Um, anyway, it wouldn't take much to change it if you needed to. Uh, so, let's move these out of the way. And let's begin by opening this remote up. I've already removed the springs. I don't, we don't need them. Uh, so it's just a case of like running it. If you've got long nails like me, just, just run, run your finger along the edge like this. Okay, okay, like that. And that. I'll do the other side as well so we don't break any other clips. There we go. Oh, there we go. Look. No screws. Fantastic. All right, so there's your membrane. I'll we'll put that aside. Now, what we want to do is get under here, like so. Like I said, I'll already remove the springs. Don't need them. Right. So what I'm going to do is try and find a place where this could fit, um, which is convenient to plug a charger into, a charging lead, you know, a uh, what's it called, a mini USB-C, yeah, which just so happens, there's a little notch there, I don't know if you can see that, but you might have to make it a bit wider, I was thinking of putting it this light's rubbish, isn't it? Hang on, let's see if we can point it sort of like that. So it goes through that little hole. And we'll do another notch on the on this piece here. You know, so it's open enough to put a charging cable in. Or I could have it up here where there's a bit more room and have the cable coming through there and into there like that. But I'm thinking that might be a bit awkward. So, it's no big deal, really. Actually, I could have it that way, can I? Uh, it's no big deal, really, to... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I haven't quite decided on the position yet, but... So, I'm going to put that there. Right. Okay, I need some more light. Bear with me a moment. God. Okay, I'm back. Let's put some more light on the subject. So, what do you guys think? There would be more convenient because it's right at the bottom of the remote. Um, but would it impede anything? If I support. Uh, which way does this go again? This way. Yeah. No, that's the top, isn't it? So, 
this way. I have to put that there. Okay. All right. So I like that. Just to just uh, look at that. All right. Now I think I think that will get in the way, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it would. You need to be able to close that gap, so that's no good. Um, or, alternatively, we could put... Hmm, we could put it... It's all right. Um, I'm not quite sure how to mount it myself yet. So, uh, I wonder if I can put it inside the battery box, which will sit on here. Like so, would I be able to sort of get a get a get a socket? Oh, would I get a? Hmm, I don't know actually. I think that might be a bit tight. So look, well, I don't know. It closes okay, doesn't it? Um, let me see if I can get a. Yeah, but then I'd have to take the battery back off every time I wanted to charge it. But then, it, keep, it won't get uh, any dust ingress, would it? I mean, I mean, obviously you're holding this remote, aren't you? And all sorts of detritus could get in there if it was at the bottom, without a cover. So actually, this might not be a bad idea. Then I could have, I could have the battery. Uh, that's a bit big for there, but I could have it inside here. Just there. I mean, you don't need even need to take this out. Let me pause this video a minute and get a, lot, a lead and see how easy it is to get a lead in there, like a charger. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. Right. I'm back. Let's lift this up a bit so it's a bit distant now. Oh gosh. I really could do the tripod and the camera. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, right, I've got the lead. So let's see. No, that's gonna to be too awkward, that. That's gonna be far too awkward. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Okay, let me pause the video again and I'll spend some time placing the board uh, more convenient. Okay, I think I've, uh, Found a good position for it, but it means cutting out a bit of the plastic in the remote. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Uh, I mean, yeah, let's have a look, make sure it's not structural. <laughs> I don't want the uh, remote flexing too much. And I'm using it, do I? So I don't think it is. So let's cut it off. Let's cut it. Uh, right, I'm gonna just move the camera up a bit so I can get my hands on that. There we go. That's better. Right, so. Um, cut that bit out there like that. Yeah. And there like that. Get that out. So I've cleared, uh, cleared that bit there. Um, I wonder actually. Cut this bit out as well. I mean, I'm not suggesting like you ruin your good remote. <laughs> but. You know, if you, if you don't mind having a little, you know, putting a bit of plastic away in there, making it, I mean, isn't it annoying when you go to use your remote and your battery's flat and, you, and you know, you, you don't always have them to hand, do you? You know, you know, you're searching around, trying to pinch them out of there, whatever you can. I know I do. Right. So, uh, let's move this around a bit now. Yeah. That's it. Right, so all that plastic's cut away there now. So I'm hoping it'll sit in there now. And I'm gonna have it, so it's upside, um, not that way, but that way. And sort of fit it there. Oh, mate, that's, uh, that's quite good. Yeah, let's try that. Let's have a look. Now can I get a lead in? How easy is it to get a lead in there? Get it the right way round, right? 
Uh, well, once it's screwed in and all that, it would be a bit easy, wouldn't it? So, yeah. I mean, that's that's easy enough, isn't it? Yeah. The only trouble is, though, we're not going to be able to get the back back on, are we? Let's have a look. Because well, I do want the back on it. Obviously. Yeah, that's not going to work out, is it? Right. Pause again. Plan C. Hello again. Uh, I've decided I'm just going to file. There's no real practical way of putting it without it being difficult to um, plug a charger cable into it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to notch out a square. Oh, yeah. Okay. That square, man, that's nice and neat. But is it wide enough and low enough? So look, um, so look. Let's have a look. Okie dokie. Yeah, it needs to be a bit wider and probably a bit lower. Let's have a look at that now. Uh, oh, that's not good. But go down a little bit more. That's it. Okay. Alright. Okay, is that wide enough now? Is it more to the point? Is it neat? Okay, tidy. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Well, it's uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. I mean, you might think this is a lot of messing about, but you know, I ain't got nothing better to do at the moment. Um, I'm still waiting for... Yeah, I think that's great, man. That's great. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. Look, it should stick through the side like that. And, uh, <clears throat> let's get the shell of this. Yeah, and it's also got somewhere to sit as well, hasn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, this is this remote's going to be on my desk, anyways. Yeah, so, so I, you know, it don't use a lot, but I do want it to work. I do want to use it, you know. Same about the dust ingress in the socket. It won't be a major issue on this particular remote. Uh, right. That's quite wise, isn't it? And if I get this, this, sort of, uh, see if that fit. Yeah, that'll go in, won't it? Yeah. So if we, uh, get this then. I'm sorry the video's for long, you know. I'll probably edit it anyway, make it shorter. Although I don't usually bother editing. Uh, let's have a look, see if it'll fit in there on there. Hang on, one way around. Yeah. It certainly goes in, doesn't it? Yeah. Like that. Yeah. See? Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, uh, so maybe the battery could go in and have a look. Let's see that bit. And then, uh, oh, it's got a nice place to sit on there, I think. Let's have a look. I might need to go a bit lower, just to accommodate the board. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I might actually. Um, get the board. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm going the wrong way round. There we are. That's where he wants to be, isn't it? Okay. Uh, right, let's try it. That goes there. That goes there. Wow, we are going to have to go lower, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to file it, man. Let's keep filing at it. I'll be back when I filed it. Uh, 
Hello, I'm back again. Right, <clears throat> I've um, managed to uh, fit it so, yeah, so if you can see, uh, better. Okay, so we're going to have that there like that, hopefully. That's about there. Uh, there. That sits like that, and this charging cable can go on the side like so, okay, like that, hopefully now, this will sit flat, hopefully, <laughs> might need a bit of fine tuning, but, you yeah, know, um, I mean, a lot of you are thinking, well, that's a lot of effort, isn't it? Well, it is. But I think it's proof of concept more than anything. Uh, and anyway, like I said, I'm fed up. We're looking for batteries. Um, yeah, so this end, I'm going to go down there, like so. Ah, does it sit flat? Oh. Yes, it does sit flat, but, but I think I might have a little bit low. That's okay. Where are we? There we go. There we go. I'll try that. Yeah, it goes in okay then. Um, let's, put it, let's put it a bit. Ah, oh, I see, yeah. I don't know what I can do. I think I need a little, a little fine tuning on this little bit here. This, where the plug goes. I might just use a little blade actually. Oh, slice a little bit off. Um, there we go, that's quite a lump off there, isn't it? Yes. I just like, you know. Well, I like to fiddle with things. I'm a, I'm a tinkerer. I'm a. You know, even if I get this working, oh, let's get this bit out. Tiny little bit then. Right. Oh, you know, it'd be great for me, at least. And it's uh, also at the same time, you know, kept my mind active. So I ain't doing anything. I mean, I do work. It's just on my downtime. You know, it pays not to think too much if you're on your own a lot, which I am. Uh, and it kind of helps keep the demons at the back, if you know what I mean. Mental demons. Um... So I'll do anything, you know, to keep my mind occupied. Uh, not that, not that that interests you, you know. You're here to see this, I presume, not my mental health. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Well, there we go. So, there we go. Let's see if that works now. There, like through the plastic. Okay, that's all right. Make sure, well, I mean, it will be fixed in, obviously, and uh, it won't be as fiddly to plug in once I've got it all together. See? That, that goes in there. And it plugs in all the way. Nice. That goes in there like that. Uh, and then the battery would be up... Uh, could be down here, actually. Got a battery there. It's only small. Um, you know, uh, let's see if that'll work down there. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, let's see if this board will now go on there. Oh, yes, it does. Wow, beautiful. Uh, yes, yeah, so if I hold that, unplug that. Obviously, it's going to be still loose, and then plug that in there like that. 
in the side like so. See? Beautiful. Okay. So, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Not too messy, is it? Uh, I wonder though. Yeah. Take the board out. Okay. I wonder which way around I could actually have that. Because I, I don't want that board, this board here, on the components like that, do I? So we really want to see it. So it goes like that, don't we? So let's try it. Who wants it? So it's like that, really. Uh, that could be better. Okay. Right, let's have a look. Hmm. Yes. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. Right. I'm going to find a way now of anchoring this, you know, uh, mechanically, you know, sort of fixing it to the, to the case. And I'll be back shortly with an explanation of what I've done. Right, I'm back again. <clears throat> right, so I've marked... There it is. I'm going to mark it now with a pencil. So I know exactly where... Um... Yeah. I know exactly where to put it, right? Now, just give me a second. Uh, there. Okay. <laughs> and hang on, where are you? There. All right. Okay. Right, so I've marked it now. I know exactly where I've got to anchor it. So I was thinking of putting it like that actually. Um, sort of there, like so. Um, yeah, like that. Uh, let's just, just zoom in a bit. There we go. There we go. Can you see that okay? So it's going to go there like that. Um, and then uh, we're going to use. I'll put a green tick on there to indicate that I charged it. So now we've got to find a place for the batteries. See, I'm, I'm just wondering how, how I could anchor that. You know, I, I, I think I tried super glue before, but it it wasn't very really good for the components. Um, if I remember rightly, it did damage the board underneath. So I don't, I don't think super glue is the right way forward. Um, so I'm gonna have to uh, think of a plan and then get back to you shortly. God. Right, I have decided to use super glue, but I'm not going to put it under the board. I'm going to put it just a, a dot there, a dot there where there's no components, a dot there and a dot there. Maybe one here and one here. And I think that'd be more than adequate. And I'll put a bit of uh, a bit of glue on it as well, a bit of hot, hot glue. I don't trust the hot glue to solely. Uh, they're responsible for um, adhesion because, well, it is good, but I don't think it's good enough for this application. <clears throat> but it might, it might be okay for reinforcement alongside the super glue. God, isn't this annoying? Uh, trying to take the top of a super glue. I wiped it as well with acetone before I put the lid on. Yay! Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Okay, there you can zoom out now, can't I? For a minute. Okay. Hey. Come on. If I just go around cracking the seal. So. Ooh. I always manages to get it on my fingers as well, you know, which isn't good. Uh, let's see. What, 
I can use to apply. Um, oh, I'll just use my blade, I suppose. You can always clean it, can't I? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, got a bit on there. Come on. My oh God, is these mostly air or what? Jesus. Um, ah, there we go. A little bit. So, I've got a bit there. A bit there. Not too much, just enough. Um, come on. Jay. Oh, right, just put it there. There, like that. There, like that. A uh, bit there, a bit there. Come on, quickly. Bit there, mm, bit here, and a bit there. I think that'll do. I don't want to get it underneath the board because it will. I, I, I seem to remember it damaging the board, you know. So, bosh, quick, 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 quick. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on, no, 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 no. Too quick, man. Oh. Jesus, come on! Yeah, <laughs> come on now. Right, that was that was lucky. I put it there now. I mean, it's really good stuff. This glue. All right. Now, now I think that is on. All right. So, all intents and purposes. That is on. Uh, put this back on. It's a waste of time these flipping glue things are, you know. I made the effort of acetone in, you know, cleaning it after the use, but it's still stuck. Um, all right, we'll give that a go then, eh? Let's see if uh, that now fits in there. Yeah, which it does. Uh, Make sure I've got the right way around now. Okay. Bugger. Come on. Let's see. All right. Hey, what's going on here, man? Uh, let's go back here. Right. Let's see if we can't plug, plug that in there. Pause it a minute while I got my hands uh, sorted. Hello, it's me again. For you, it's been like less than a second. For me, it's been like five minutes. Um, this is how far I put I've, I've put the remote back together temporarily. Just why I uh, check the alignment of that. I mean, actually, that goes a bit deeper into the remote than I, than I anticipated, but. You know, this particular bead, you know, I've made it wide enough to fit that in. Um, so, oh, it's this way around, isn't it? I think, yeah. Come on. There we go. Now, that's that. So, you can plug it in. And then you can unplug it, so to speak. And plug it back in again. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah, let's get a battery bank and uh, let's see if it, if it reaches it okay because sometimes it'll plug in a little bit but won't actually reach it when it needs to go to the contacts. All right, well, as you can see, look, it's lit up. Okay, so that's okay. In fact, I might put a little hole in the... Uh, the battery back, um, where is it? So I can actually see it charging, you know. Put a little hole there. So we're gonna look in the back. Wait for it to go blue. Uh, yeah. So I'll open it back up now. Uh, mind you, do I need to open it back up? Can I get a, a battery to sort of fit in there like that? Maybe. Maybe. That's all not. Um, okay. 
goes in. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, and yeah. I mean, yeah, it seems to fit. Oh, no, it's on top of a component, though. We don't really want that, do we? How do we squeeze that into there like that? No, because then it won't shut, will it? It won't shut then with that. Okay. No, that is silly. I'm going to have to uh, wait a minute. Um, given that I've got a collection of these batteries, I've got, I've got a smaller one. I've even got, actually, one of these. I wonder. It's a bit more low profile. I wonder if that'll work. It's a nice little, uh, nice little package, that. Hmm. Let's see. I think it should be ample enough to run a remote for a. Well, who knows? I could calculate it, but I can't be bothered. Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's see. Can I fit this into there? Oh, no. the other way. Just for now. I don't want to blame me board up before you even know. No, I don't think so, actually. It looks like I'm going to have to put it in here. Somewhere up here. Or down here. So it looks like I'm going to have to open the remote again. Be right back. All right. Just put the soldering iron on, ready to solder these... Uh, Two contact, these two wires here, positive and negative. Okay, so let's get that under there. Hopefully I did a better job of this video than I did the last one. I'm really disappointed with myself on that actually. You know, for a bit of extra effort I could have uh, learnt to edit properly. And it would have been far better. Come on now. Maybe I should have put flux on it first. Come on now. Um, come on. I think that wire's a bit filled, a bit dirty, isn't it? Um, come on. Give it a clean. Yeah, I hate this aluminium. What is it? Copper coated aluminium wire. It is awful. And I'm encountering it a lot these days. It's their way of cheaping out. And it doesn't really doesn't solder very well at all. Uh, I should try. Okay, so. Solder, solder. There we go. There we go. Come on. And the black wire. Negative. All right. All right. So, got the end off. There we go. Now we're going to go. All right. Let's just go to zoom a little bit. And move on a little bit like that. Now oh, bear with me a second. There we go. So we are going to solder positive on the positive and negative on the negative. Like so. Okay. Okay. And same again on this one. I ain't got no flux left. I tipped it all out, didn't I? I've already got it. I bought some of this stuff, man, but I've emptied it by accident. I mean, it's, it's begging to be tipped over, isn't it? I mean, it's so narrow. It's unfortunate, but there you go. Uh, okay. Right. So we cut that off, it's too much, and then we 
proceed. Let's solder it on the negative. Yeah, like so. Okay, there we go. And then uh, positive. There. Cool. Excellent. Yes. Uh, now, I've got to find out how long I need those wires before I go solving anything. And uh, I would like to put some covering on that because I think, uh, in fact, what I might do is uh, bend that over so we don't short anywhere. Let's see. Bend that over too. Let's so. see. Okay, I think I think that's great. So now we've got to find out because I might have to put this slightly on top. So what I'll do there <coughs> is get a bit of oh where is it? Black insulation tape. Um, hang on, I got it. I'm gonna use this blue stuff. Okay, I'll get this. All right. Right. All right. Now what I'll do is get this. I'll just cover the wires so nothing gets shorted out. Like so. And don't cover the lead because I might. I do want to put a hole through the battery compartment, the battery cover, rather. So that then should sit somewhere like that, and I shall uh, put a little dab of glue on there. Uh, yeah, shall we do that now actually? So if I put, um, put this on now, it's, oh gosh, it'll, it'll uh, help. That's it, just run up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Run a little bead across there. Like that. Okay. And then place the battery. I wonder if I can just do. Quick, 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 before it cools down. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. Hopefully, that'll do the job. Okay. Let's see how stable it is. Oh, that's, that's only because of the negative. It goes there, like so. And then the positive goes around there, like so. That's it. Then we're going to chop that off. Uh, maybe that's too long. No, that's fine. Okay. Now, uh, I don't want to pull at that wire, so what I'll do... Does this work? No, of course it doesn't. Um, does this work? Yes. So we'll just bur burn the... Um... There we go. Let's burn a little bit of that off. There we go. Okay. Right. Let's see what we've got left in this flux. I might have to do the flux actually. Even though I've only got a tiny, tiny bit left. What a shame. I tipped it all. Well, I knocked it with my desk lamp actually. And it all went everywhere. Okay. So, let's tin it. Now with these lithium ion batteries, don't let the heat linger on the terminals too long. Really, really not a good idea. Okay. Oh, there's all bits on there. Okay. So quick, quick, quick. Right. Go. Go, 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 go. That is it. And as quick as you can. There we go. There, sweet. And then this one here. And this one here. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Right. That's, ow! That's still hot. <laughs> right. So we're going to get that there. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Not too long, not too long. There we go. Okay, let it cool and then blow on it. <sighs> cool it down quick. Okay. And then with this one. Do, 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 do. 
All right, that'll do. All right, okay. Let's have a look close up. Um, okay, let's have a look, is that okay? Is that tight enough? I might just run a bit just under there. Okay, just uh, give it some rigid stability. Mm -hmm. And that'll do, I think. I don't know more than that. Yeah. So that's what it looks like now. Now, if I plug the charger into it now. One. There we go. Where is the charger? Oh. Uh, it's the battery band. It's a lot. Okay, so we put that in there, right? There we go. Um, put that into there. Okay, let's have a look. Is it charging? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's unfortunate though that I've covered over the charging lead. No. Yes, I have. Oh no, there it is. There's the charging lead up here. I might st oh, I can see it through there anyway. Look, I'll be able to see if that goes blue anyway. Cushy. Right, I'm going to put it all back together now and test it. Okay, I'm back. Here's the finished article. Um, all back together now. Charging port. Let's plug her in. Uh, here we go. Here we go, yo. Oh, the light's there, I can see it. And I can see the light through here as well. I could extend that hole a bit so I can see it better. Uh, yeah, while well it's charging, let's see if it works on the TV. No reason why it shouldn't. I did it. Uh, where's the back of it? Where's the back of the room? Okay. Here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Oh, no. Have I switched it on actually? I can't see it. Ah, maybe the battery ain't charged up actually. <laughs> I think it's a flat one. I'll try it again. Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I forgot to charge the battery up beforehand. So I'm going to have to wait till it's charged up to test it. So I'll be right back. Hello! I'm back. Right, I'll put it all together now. I didn't connect to the remote itself, that's why it didn't work. I forgot. <laughs> so now I've done it. Let's test it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> it works. It works. Fantastic. Yeah, oh, wait till it comes on and I'll turn it off again. Actually, I might put, put the back on it because it, it's flopping around a bit. Um, I'll see if I can find it. I keep losing stuff. Uh, oh, oh, sod it. It's around somewhere. I'll get it. So, there we go. Uh, so, we've got the volume. The volume, volume, yes. There we go. It works. Uh, what else? Where's the YouTube button actually? Let's go on the YouTubes. There we go. Never have to replace batteries again. And that, isn't that right, Lou? Fucking pain in the arse it is. Excellent. I'm glad you, oh, you enjoyed that. Uh, like and subscribe if you found it useful. Uh, catch you again soon. Bye-bye.